Hey loves! So today we're going to do a Wet n Wild tutorial. I figured I would do a talk through tutorial because I don't usually do those and that way I can kind of give you my first impressions because I haven't used a lot of these products before and then I can tell you which ones that I have used and do love. I'm going to try and use mostly the new ones out of the last two hauls that I put up. I have already primed my face because I do not have a Wet n Wild primer so I'm using the, the Nivea Men's Poche Balm. I'm going to try and use super affordable products if there's something that I just don't have from Wet n Wild. I should be pretty much covered with the exception of a brow pencil or false lashes. I think everything else I should be okay. I feel like I'm gonna do kind of an everyday look because I haven't really done one of those in a while, although it's gonna be kind of my everyday look, but I'll tone it down because I'm the kind of person that will wear glitter or a pigment or something flashy on the lid every single day. My go-to is like a lot of the tutorials that you see me do that seem a little more dramatic, like that's, that's just me. I'm always winged liner. I'm probably gonna still do a winged liner, but I'll try and do a more neutral eye. Okay, so we're gonna try the coverall foundation from Wet n Wild. I'm just gonna start with this 815 Fair Claire is what it says on it. It's probably gonna be slightly too dark and I have heard that it oxidizes a lot. So I am gonna mix it with Manic Panic Dream Tone for now. So it might look super light at first, but if it oxidizes as much as people say it does, then it should balance out towards the end. I use Wet n Wild brushes whenever I can. Wet n Wild brushes whenever I can. I don't have that many of them though because I can never seem to find them around me. I don't have like any sort of priming water from Wet n Wild. I don't believe they even have one. So I'm just gonna use the Makeup Revolution Pro Prime Aqua Priming Base just to kind of dampen the brush because the, because the foundation is thicker than I normally use. So let's see. I'm not sure I feel about this brush for foundation yet. This brush isn't bad to apply foundation. I feel like with a thinner foundation, it might be better than this one. I probably would have liked this foundation more if I applied it with a beauty blender or beauty sponge of some kind. Now we're gonna use the Come Correct Concealer, obviously also from Wet n Wild. This one is super thick. I'm really scared to use it under my eyes, so I'm probably going to wet a brush again. I'm gonna use this fluffy, it doesn't say what it is, but I think it's just a fluffy shadow brush. Mine, of course, is in whatever the lightest shade is, fair. Some pretty good coverage. I do wish it was lighter. I mean, it pretty much matches my skin and it matches the foundation, but I personally like a lighter concealer. Now I'm going to set that and I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder again in fair. See, I'm going to use a little sponge to set my nose just because I know that that will help me out throughout the day. I usually put a little extra powder on there, not like really baking, but I guess it is kind of baking. I guess that exactly is what it is baking by leaving the powder on there for a minute and then by letting it sit there for a minute and then brushing it away. Um, I just feel like it lasts longer. Should I just leave my makeup like this? Yes. I'll use a little bit of the matte medium brown right here in this little coming in latte palette. Now I'm going to try this brow mascara. It's the ultimate brow mascara. Mine is in Blonder Over Yonder. I think we're just gonna keep using that same palette, the Coming In Latte, and we're just gonna use that same color that we used on our brows, or on my brows, personally. This guy right here, start with this one, the matte one. I'm gonna try and use the little brush that it came with. I feel like you could use this. I am such a creature of habit that I'm gonna just use my normal brushes because I feel like this is just gonna get this tutorial through much faster. I'm just gonna take this cream shade right here and put it on the brow bone. And I'm just gonna take that same brown shade and put it on the lower lash line. this guy right here, the kind of the second to darkest uh, brown. So it's like a light matte brown. This one's got a little bit of glitter in it, but I don't think it's going to transfer to the eye. So I'm going to go with this one just a little tiny bit and deepen up this outer corner. A little bit of that deeper shade just on the outer edge. 
creepy shade right here for the lid, I think. I didn't use the eye primer. No, I just dropped everything. I forgot to use the eye primer. Balls. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Maybe this would have worked out better. Let's see if I can get a little more shine by using this uh, illuminating palette in Catwalk Pink. A little more glowy. I'm just mixing the pink and the gold for my inner corner highlight. And for liner, I'm just going to use this little Fine Lines Pro Line liner. And it's just in black. I'm going to do a wing. You don't have to do a wing. You do whatever you feel like. If it helps when I do a wing on this eye, I normally start at the inner corner and just kind of drag it. And then I go halfway. I have the weirdest habit of how I do a liner. And then I find my the corner of my eye that lines up with my brow roughly. Like this. And then this edge. It's gonna be a bolder wing than I planned. Oops. That is a huge wing. I'm sorry guys. This is not an everyday makeup look for many people. Oh my goodness, that is like, once I have lashes on, it won't look so insane, but oh, dang. And on this eye, not that anyone's gonna wanna take my liner advice right now. I start with the outer line for some reason. I don't know, and then drag it in. I literally do it opposite. I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of the liner and drag it to my lower lash line. I think it's open. Just because I feel like it connects your eye a little more. Just a little. Let's take any brush, just take a shadow brush and kind of soften that before it dries. Now we are on to mascara. I kind of want to use the Lash Matic. So I think we're going to try this guy today. So step one and three is the mascara. This is a chunky mascara and then the fibers if i can get them out of here are it's up too so this one this one this one let's do this the mascara alone is actually pretty nice look at that it's like an actual mascara not just like a coat i'm just taking that and brushing it kind of focusing on the tips a little bit so it's really gonna add like Top lash, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. For the bottom. I think I'm gonna use a different mascara as the top coat for my bottom lashes. Just because I know this one won't smudge on me at all, and I already just got like some little smudgies and I don't need any more. It's probably hard to see on camera because of all the lights, but I can definitely already see like an orange tint to that foundation, even with mixing it with Manic Energy Dream Dawn. But I think because I mixed it with enough that it's, hopefully this is done oxidizing, I guess we'll see. So yeah, I really like it. I think it's a really good mascara. Of course, you'd be able to see this better if I did not have liner on. It's still, it can still see my lashes and I don't have very large lashes because I wear false lashes so often that I've kind of probably killed my lashes and I've stopped using Revita Lash, so. But as far as the fiber mascara goes, and for the price of this guy, I'm not sure how much it was, I can't remember, but it was under $10, and I'm super impressed, and even just the mascara on its own is really good. So, yeah, two thumbs up for me. I don't have any Wet n Wild lashes, so I'm just gonna skip to these. These are Care Lashes. This one is just the Style Wisp. Found these on shopmissa.com. They are a dollar, so they are super affordable. You cannot beat it. Just gonna pop these on real quick. Totally optional. If you guys wanna stay with just the mascara, you are good to go. All right, love. so we are going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Dolce de Leche um, contouring palette. So we'll see. Just kidding. I think we're going to use the Caramel Toffee. I just prefer this uh, contour shade a little more. If you aren't a contourer, don't even worry about this. This is just, again, something I would do on an everyday basis. 
We are going to use Mai Tai Bayou drink today for blush. Ooh, blush is really pretty. So I really wish that I had that amazing Wet n Wild highlighter, but I don't. Honestly, I think I might go search for it again, give it another go at the drugstores around me after I finish filming this video, but then it's kind of pointless. But I'm still, I still want it. We're just gonna use the Illuminating Palette even though it doesn't give near the amount of glow that I personally prefer, so I might have to put something on top of it later. So I'm just gonna use these two shades. Try and pile that on, see if I can get a glow. I mean, it's got a glow, but I'm like, I want, you know? Boom. Oh, there's some glow on my nose. Yes. I'm like packing this on though. I like to put it all on here and then a little bit on like the apples of my cheeks just because I have big cheeks and I don't know. I like the way when the light hits it personally. Do what makes you happy. All right, now all we have are lips. I don't have a lip liner for Wet n Wild. You don't really need one necessarily with some of their products, but I have my wonky uneven lip. So I usually like to line them, especially if I'm filming. So I'm going to pick a liner. I think I'm going to use Tootsie. Tootsie from Colourpop. Whoa. What's nice about a simple makeup look like this, you can really change out the lip to any color that you want. I'm just going to stick with the nude because this is kind of an everyday makeup look. If I wanted to, I could always switch out to a red or a purple or any color that you, your little heart desires. But I think we're going to mix uh, 903C, which is just peachy, with a little bit of pink sugar, which is 900B. Lipsticks are so affordable, it's crazy. Alright love, so that is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. Do let me know down below what you guys want to see next. I really like Wet n Wild products. They're so affordable. I feel like at the drugstore you can't really beat them. If you guys want to see another one brand tutorial, do let me know what brand you want to see. I do have enough stuff to do a NYX one and probably an Urban Decay one if you wanted that. I'm not sure what else, but just let me know as always. And I think that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Um, 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 I have 18... 815. <laughs> I'm not used to talking while I'm actually doing my makeup. I feel like I normally just talk about other things, so. Boyfriend is out there singing. Intentionally poorly, I assume. If not, I'm sorry, babe. Why are you singing? I don't understand. Just, it's just gonna be good enough. It's gonna have to be good enough with my wonky liner. Okay, 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 okay. I just want some coffee. Just some coffee, please. Let that shine, yo.